let's start with a look back at the darts already this week because we've already had two players championship events this week the first lot of pro tours for 2024 that new midweek slot kicking in so it doesn't matter what day of the week it is luke littler is the player that is grabbing the headlines he won players championship one on his pro tour debut on monday his post-match interview he was talking about trying to qualify for the match play the pdc they're talking about him trying to qualify for the match play but is it a lock now the nuke will be at blackpool in july Ooh, i mean i won't go as far as to say that it's a lock but uh it's as close to a lock as it can be he's already done about two-thirds of what he needed to catch up to the last person although you know that very well could have uh, shifted if martin lukeman had hit the dart uh in the semifinal uh, on uh tuesday that would have been another nearly two thousand pounds that uh luke Littler would be chasing but that seems academic at this point he started the year about twenty two thousand pounds behind add in the past two days at twenty four thousand but he's bucketed 16 of that 24,000 in just two days, winning a title and uh, winning a match on the second day. You've got to think by the time you're listening to this that he'll have qualified for at least one of the two Euro Tours, if not both, though it's not a guarantee, um, as I'll get on to. But it just doesn't seem it doesn't seem feasible that one of the two or three best players in the world, if not the best player in the world right now, isn't going to make up 8,000 pounds over Okay, a Brendan Dolan who's not playing poorly, but a Brendan Dolan who is 8,000 pounds over seven months worse than uh, Luke Littler at the very least, as is everyone else that he's chasing. Uh, I would be shocked if he did not qualify for the world match play. He is too good. He is too dominant. He is he's already making us look fools for saying he'd only win. I think I said six titles this year, Um, but there still are some question marks. And Tuesday did show it as did the premier league on um this past thursday night you know there still is the question of how is he going to take to losing almost every day that he steps onto the hockey he might win two matches and make the premier league final he might win a bunch of matches before going out in a semi-final or quarterfinal but most of the time on single day tournaments he is going to lose which is to say more than 50 percent of the time And he's not had to experience that yet. The first time he lost in a world championship final, he was fine. It it was a great run. Losing to Michael Van Guren in the final um, of the Dutch Darts Masters, a one-off loss. But after winning a title the previous week, that's one thing. But how is it going to build? How does he learn to handle that adversity? How does he learn how to always play at that 105 level, you know, overall, he averaged nearly 99 across the matches. That's uh, the fifth best average of anyone over the course of the two days. But he definitely regressed on uh, day two. Beat Danny Knoppert in a good match, but not a great match by either of their standards. And then just didn't have it against Radek Zaganski and had probably his worst three visits that we've seen from him as a professional in that last leg decider of that match. Going in consecutive visits uh, when he had the lead in the leg, he was about he was 34 points up. So he was a treble ahead with the darts and he went 57, 42, 36 the next three visits to leave 72 after 18 darts in a last leg decider. And credit to Radek Zaganski. He threw a 140 to leave 56 and then took that out in two. But there's still some frailty that might come as Luke Littler has to play at that 105 standard all the time on the Pro Tour. As he gets used to that and as he gets used to getting beaten, that could mean that there are some struggles. And maybe there will be a confidence drop that will mean that he that that six titles is not under estimate of the year. Uh, I mean, he could win 20 the way he's been playing for the most part, but I'm going to stick with the six. I'm going to stick with saying there is still that chance that things will get a little pear shaped for some time, but he's just too good. That performance against Cameron Menzies. Okay. It wasn't Gary Anderson. We'll get onto that in a second, but it was one of the best performances, especially those first five legs that you can ever see. Cameron Menzies was lucky to get to nil in that match and then somehow stole two legs. Usually he's mad at himself for winning 6-5, Cameron Menzies. I don't think he's ever been as happy with his performance, and he lost that match 6-2. And then that final against Ryan Searle was uh, early contender for match of the year. Eight legs to seven, 
three breaks to throw, the first leg, the last leg, and the penultimate leg, and it was done in 20 minutes. What a match, uh, but what a player. Is he a lock for Blackpool? Pretty much, but I won't say that he's quite yet a lock to top the six titles I said he was going to win before the season started. Yeah, Luke Littler continues to be the name on everyone's lips when it comes to darts right now. Barely half an hour after he'd won that final on Monday, banked the 15 grand for winning the title. The PDC's social media, they're advertising tickets for Blackpool with the headline, Luke Littler is one step closer to booking his place at this year's World Match Play. And a few of our listeners getting in touch, we asked the question, is he a a lock to get to the the Winter Gardens? Gordon Lindsay saying would say it's a sure thing, to be honest unless his performances fall by the wayside, which is highly unlikely. Matt Johnson saying that he's already only 8.5k off a place through the Pro Tour rankings after one tournament. Surely it's inevitable until saying, if anything, we should be talking about him winning the match play. So that Blackpool bed and breakfast, get it booked. You're going to be going to Blackpool. But I think we've seen in, in previous years, haven't we, that the odds are against the new tour card holders getting to Blackpool in that first year because they are five, six, seven months of, of events behind them, aren't they? It's been done a few times before. We've seen the likes of Rob Cross, Glenn Durrant, Stephen Bunting do it, but not very often. But then again, not every player is Luke Littler, are they? And I think we're both wary of adding to that hype surrounding Luke Littler. There's, there's plenty of other media outlets doing enough of that, posting about his every move. But it is hard not to get swept up by it all, isn't it? Because you look at that Monday, his first day on the Pro Tour, Goes and averages 100 for the day, wins the title, the nine data, some of the performances in and amongst that run to the title as well. It was tremendous stuff, wasn't it? But there was one game where you could possibly wave that red flag a little bit, the semi final with Alan Super, where his average did dip below that 90 and could well have lost that game as well. 5 4 down to Alan Suter, who misses darts to go 6 4 up. It goes 5 all. Alan Suter again, he was first to the double in the next leg and, and misses, and Luke Littler checks out. The 150, Suits comes back, forces the decider, misses that match dart, and Littler cleans up the 78 to win it 7-6. So a, a very close game there, and we've seen before with these Pro Tour events, you know, you get towards the, the semi-finals, the final, and the title, there are some big jumps in prize money. So to pocket that 15 grand on day one, it, it's a big jump, and you mentioned he, he's made pretty much two-thirds of that gap that he started this season off those provisional spots for Blackpool. And he's two thirds of the way there and there is plenty more of events to go. And he said it in his interview afterwards as well, that him and his manager, Martin Folds, they know the situation, they know what they need to do. And he even said there's 13, 14 events. I think that was just the floor events that he's going to be in. So there's going to be plenty of chances for him to make up that money. So already a, a, a big jump towards getting to Blackpool and I think we are waiting to see this level drop for Luke Littler, that not just, uh, you know, the odd game here or there, but that sustained period, whether he has a a bad week, where he has a a poor couple of pro tours, misses out on the Euro Tour qualifiers, then has a bad Premier League. But at this moment in time, it it doesn't look like that's going to happen. He has a a bad performance in one game, bounces back and, and goes on a run of winning games. So if he can keep that going, he's turning up one week, he's winning players' championships. If he can play that well more often than not, then... Yeah, I think you'd expect him to make the match play and I'm sure he'll be in and amongst the favourites if he does get there. 